Right, this is another video which I'm going to do now and basically what I'm going to show you how to do today is you've got the screen on the pod um, and then you've got the wire which is there excuse the white on here this way I've been doing some stuff on it um, but obviously when you plug this into the pod because you've took the cap off it, it leaves it quite exposed to the elements so I'll show you now how you can turn this which is Sugru moldable glue into a perfect cast of the internals of the pod where you attach all the wires um, which will then make it waterproof right continuation this is obviously the Sugru and it comes in three little packs like that you can get it on Amazon I think it's 698 comes really quickly so you open a packet and it's like a it's like a plasticine and what you have to do you have to like knead it between your fingers I think they say it's to warm it up and soften it even more it don't take too long and one packet of this will actually do the uh, the cast of the internals which we want to do okay you can get this in white and gray and black and obviously I wanted the black because the black the pods black so, so yeah so you're left with that now so I'll show you what to do next. So what you'll need now, you'll need your wire, which is your HDMI to your micro HDMI. And you need a piece of cling film. And what you need to do, the metal part on your micro HDMI, you need to literally poke it through the cling film. Like that. So it comes through. Then it's a case of undoing the cap on your pod. And plug in your micro HDMI in. Go. And then pulling the cling film up, and then you get your sugru, and you literally piece by piece you push it into the hole where the cap used to be. Make sure you go around the actual wire as well just so when it sets it actually sticks to the wire and again push it right in and then a little bit more on top of there so secure it against the wire and what the clean film actually does it allows you to get the cast without putting any of the sugar into the internals because obviously what's in there is your HD is your card your SD card and stuff so if you do that make sure you push it right in then you should be able to take out your HDMI and then at the back there you'll see there's a perfect mold of the actual internal of here so it matches it even down to the slots where the slots are and then if you and this is the tricky part leave it to dry leave it to start drying for about half an hour then what you should be able to do is start to take the cling film off 
and then you can trim these edges around here and then you'll have a perfect shape so you can plug it straight in and we'll show you what that looks like in a bit right then that's dried now a little bit and what you should have left once you've trimmed it all off is that and as you can see it's attached to the wire so it's always going to be there and it dries like hardened plastic basically and then all you do it's a case of when you come to use your screen you can plug it directly in and then it becomes like a cap just to protect the internals from the elements to a certain degree and then away you go that's it